Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me an email they could they don't really understand in line and distribute a line and distribute. So if you go to object and go to line and distribute and, op, and open up the Docker, let's move this, zoom these out a little bit. I was trying to do it where you could see it. Tell you what, let me. Um, All right, here we go. And so there's, you've got a bunch of, there's everything's grayed out right now. These circles or ellipses are the same size. We can align them where they're gonna to be to the left of each item if in the circle makes it easy. And that spaces them out evenly because they're even. We can do them from the center. And this, you can see it's not moving them, it's just moving the lines kind of showing you that they're equal distance apart. Well, if you have objects that are not equal, and if you go from the left, there's gonna be more space here, so it's aligning each of them from the left, so there's more space and left space. So if you align them from the center, and if you hover over, it'll say left, center, right, or space horizontally, so spacing horizontally or center would give you the same result. It's gonna space those objects out equally apart. The distance will be the same throughout. We can just do a little test here, and that's 0.71 of an inch, 0.71 of an inch. Let me zoom in here so you can see this, or 171 per inch. So if we don't do that and we select them and we go left justified, now, this one is 2.65, where this one is 1.71. And it actually messed that one up. Let's back up here a little bit. Might have, it might have been messed up because of my numbers. So let's uh, select these again, and we'll uh, right justify them. And you can see the distance is different than it was before, where this distance is only and see, you're on a quadrant, so you know you're in the middle of the circle. You're 2.27 inches there. And on this one, you're only 0.15. So that's the difference in here when you distribute. And just a little bit of tidbit, if you had these circles and you want them all in a line, select them all and just hit E, and it'll put them... It's doing the same thing you're doing here, aligning uh, them. Let's back up here. Instead of doing that, let's just hit this. It's doing the same thing. But there's some shortcuts like B for bottom, T for top, E for even. L for left is going to put them all the way to the left. Back it up and go R for right. Puts them all on the right-hand side of that circle. Anyway, I hope that answered their question, and thank you for watching.